What we're looking at here today is a DeWalt cordless impact drill. You can see right here, this bad boy had a bit break off on the inside. It's down very low. It won't eject. And my coworker was to the point he was gonna throw it away. Hey folks, that fix it guy. So I'm a pretty competitive guy. I love games, I love puzzles. And if you look at work like a puzzle, it usually is pretty fun. And that's the way I looked at this broken bit in this impact driver was like a puzzle. So just gotta figure it out. Come along, let's get to fixing. I just wanted to see if I can move that a little bit because I feel like it's just wedged in there too. No, that ain't rocking. You can smell the krill oil on this thing. They uh, they really slapped some on there. Let's see about getting some grips on that bad boy. No, it's on there. It's certainly on there. Try that from the top angle. Uh, no, that just popped a piece of metal off of that. Okay. No, just keeps breaking it off around and I'll see if I can get a good angle of what I'm about to do. Um, sorry about the noise. My wife is doing the dishes and that is our tankless water heater. So what I'm gonna do is there's a little ring right around the inside of this ring, right on the inside of where this little piece comes up. If I zoom in a little bit and point to it, that right there you can see that right there and we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to take a couple little small flathead screwdrivers and we're gonna pop that out of there so I would love to be using a super small set of slip ring pliers but I don't have nothing that small and the um, stores are closed this late at night these days. All right, got it. So that right there, once you can just work your way around, kind of pin one side down to get the other side out. And then I can just pop that whole thing out. That's gonna be a bear going back together. I'm gonna guarantee that. But then this whole little thing can pop out, man. You could smell the krill oil these guys were using to try to get that apart and now we've got all that hooked up and let's see let's try to whew, clean some of that off my fingers first clean that off of there too right on the bottom side of that ball right there is a little hole that holds that piece in. Now we're gonna see if we can get something down in there and pry that out. So I was poking and prodding around on this for a second. I moved this and that little ball that was in there fell out, which is a bummer. We're gonna have to find that in the messiest garage in the world. And that little thing is like the size of a freaking BB. So that's gonna be a great time. But anyway, we'll just take this right here and we'll pop this ring right here off as well. Set that aside. And now you get a little bit better of a glimpse of that in there. 
that is jammed down in there pretty darn good. So we're just gonna see if we can get that out now. We might be able to take this, lay it down on its side and try to tap that out of there with a punch. So I think we're gonna give that a go and see what we can do. All right, so I just grabbed a punch and I'm just gonna pop this right down inside that a little bit. There's a little bit of a lip there and hopefully I can pound this out. I couldn't find my hammer, so <laughs> I grabbed the, uh, actually it's out in my truck and I didn't wanna go out and grab it. So I just grabbed the hatchet and we'll uh, give it a few cracks with that and see what we can do. Let's see, we can zoom in a little bit, see if we can uh, catch this bad boy popping out. pretty jammed in there. I can't get a good enough grip for this thing to actually stay in the vise. I don't want to crush it. All right, well, I was planning on taking out these Allen wrench screws, but I actually don't have an Allen wrench that fits inside here. It's a very uncommon size I guess because I've got three different sets I've got metric regular and then another two other sets that I found and none of them have the size that I need so we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna try one more different approach here and see what we can do so we are going to see if we can just grip this right on the edge of the vise. Let's see what we can get. Let's see if we can grab the biggest sides and just see. how much we can get in there. And maybe we'll just try to bust it with a mallet a couple of times. Got a old trusty snap-on rubber mallet here. And let's just try to beat it. It came out that is awesome this worked out great now that's out of there and we can put it back together that is awesome I'm gonna tell him uh, don't put the wrong size bit in there ever again um, <laughs> that's something you don't do okay cool that is awesome, man. Ho, ho, ho. Feeling really good. I guess it was a good way today. This was uh, 24 hours. I know it took me the long way around to get to this point, but I got it. I got it out. Uh, if you like the channel, if you can subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, I hope you like the content. You know, I'm just trying to to do things to help people out is 
my whole goal with all of this. So we're gonna go ahead. I might save this for him as a souvenir, and we'll just we'll just reassemble this uh, driver right here real quick. That is awesome. Oh yeah, and this little BB <laughs> last night after I shut the camera off, searched around on the floor, couldn't find it. Turned out it was in my towel that was sitting right next to my tool bag. I went to move the towel, it fell into the tool bag. I dumped the whole tool bag out and eventually found it, but we're gonna need this. It's gotta go back in. So we're definitely gonna try not to lose that again. We are looking at actually putting this spring back on right here. And the spring goes down and goes over this hole and then that spring kind of bounces down a little bit and that's where the BB pops right into place. So I'm going to do this very carefully. Sorry if you can't actually see me doing that, but you just slide that down a little bit and pop that BB right in place and good to roll right there. All right, so we have this spring in with the little ball bearing now, and we are going to take this little ejector cover piece, stick that over the top, and then take the spring, take the little metal flat washer, Stick that over that. And last is the slip ring. And hopefully we can get this back together. So. Well, I'm going to try to get the clip ring side in. Okay, we got, well, I thought we had one side. Boom town. We're back in business. That is great. We're going to have to tell him to, we're going to have to tell them never to put a two-sided bit in to this impact ever again. So now that we've got that all hooked up, let's put it in the battery. And let's put this in there. and it ejects it, keeps it in, and removes it. So interesting enough, it doesn't really eject it out the way mine does. Like this is the Ryobi, right? And you can pop that in there, but then when I hit that, it like shoots it out. Is that the way the DeWalt is, that it just doesn't do that? Or is it something that, maybe that spring is, is bad at this point? I don't know, and I just lost that <laughs> drill bit somewhere. So, great. Anyway, it works. Dude should be really happy. All right, folks, so that's how I got that broken screwdriver bit out of the impact driver. So when you're using an impact driver, make sure you only use this style of 
bit for your impact driver. It actually is made for the impact driver with that little bevel right there. That's where that ball bearing kind of sets in there so it can't pull out. That's what you want to use. You don't want to use a bit like this that actually has one of those little ball bearings in it. And he put that in there and got it stuck. And that is exactly what happened. And then it found that weak point and it just snapped it off. I really hope this video helps. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, check us out on Facebook. I have a That Fix It Guy DIY group. It's open to the public. I really just want to help people out. You have questions, put them on there. I'll try to answer the best I can or other people in the community will certainly chime in and help out as well. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.